on YouTube and I can't go on Twitter because I know I'll see something. <laughs> You've been playing. Yep. Dude. Okay. Uh, okay. Hold on. Let me, let me start this real quick. What is going on, everybody? It's Bonds here for this video Ruby Volume 9, Episode 6. And Jesus Christ, spoilers are everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Everywhere. I'm actually surprised I don't know anything about this episode because oh, good I, for you. I saw Ruby trending so fucking hard. Yeah. And I was like, I can't watch YouTube. And I, I bet I know why. Me. Because I got, I got, like, you got spoiled? Yeah, like, literally everywhere. I didn't even look up Ruby. And yet, yeah. and yet it was popping up everywhere. People were, like, putting it in their, in their video titles or in their thumbnails, which is the worst offender. Come on, guys! The video it didn't. It was out for one day, for like less oh than God. one day, and you're already like putting probably one of the biggest things that happen in this show in the thumbnail. Like, Jesus well, now I'm Christ. really curious. Oh my God! But <sighs> someone gonna die? I mean, don't don't tell me. Don't tell I, me. I'm if not someone gonna, I'm not gonna say good. what. I'm not gonna say what. All right. But, so I was like, holy uh, shit! I, I didn't. I, I didn't exactly see. What happens? But every uh, all the thumbnails imply something happens. I'll just say that. Okay. So I'm scared, but I hope our boy John's gonna be okay. <laughs> all right, let, let's talk about that now. Yeah, John. John being older. So he got fucked. John yeah. being older is easily one of the craziest things to happen in the show in a very, very, very long time. That that changes the dynamic of all these characters. Significantly, actually. <laughs> he's probably going to be, like, really grouchy and, and rough and stuff, right? I can't imagine probably. he's, like, same old he's light definitely, John. He's definitely going to be hardened after this. Like, you can even oh, yeah, he's probably seen some shit. I ho honestly, I hope, like, they fix him in some way, shape, or form. Yeah, I've, like, I've, I've been hearing a lot of, like, theories, and people are saying that, like, like, one of those theories being that ever since he killed Penny, he's probably just been trying to be an actual hero down here while he can. Mm. I've heard a theory of the opposite where he completely has given up on being a hero because in the intro uh, or the intro or the trailer I think someone was like there was a theory I was watching where like you can hear his sister's voice saying you something about like not being able to be the hero and it's like something that happened when he was in the ever after like he got traumatized and he like just kind of gave up combined with like Penny's death and like all the other stuff he lost because he's been no offense to John you know, main character Sigma Male here, but he's just been taking so many L's. You know, I I hate to say, it, but I was like, thinking about it. I was like, like wow. maybe like it's possible that John is like the Ruby that's been doing this for a while, yeah. possibly. That that'd actually be a, a crazy way of taking him, yeah. right? Oh man, they're doing. I so. just hope he like I don't know. I hope something just good happens to him because it feels like he's been taking so much shit. I didn't realize it until I was like, oh my god, this poor mother f things, and, he d and there's like no like good side for him and stuff like that, like, I mean, no offense to Team Ruby, but they have each other, you know, at a certain point they have each <laughs> yeah, other. Ruby but has like, each other still, like, Ruby, but like, John's Ruby's like, I I'm still trying to John's figure out. John's the third wheel in his own group, I'll, I'll be <laughs> the one to say it. He's the third wheel in his own group. Oh man, that's sad, that's fucking it's true, sad. Yeah. Oh, poor John, dude. <sighs> Uh, well, let's see. Let, I really want to see where they take him. I, I'm so curious. I wonder but, how the time thing worked. Like, uh, yeah, like but, why is it that all of Ruby were able to land together? But and not is he John. like the original Rusted Knight, or did he take his place? Or cause you know what I mean? Like, is that, that actually John in the Rusted Knight story, or like oh, is God. that like did, <laughs> did is John wearing the Rusted Knight's armor? Well, obviously he's been here for a while. So, like, yeah. my, my guess would be is that he's actually the Rusted Knight in the story. Because, first off, it's weird that they're in a fairy tale to begin with. It is super weird. But then yeah. here's another thing that I just also want to point out. So, my best guess is that the reason why they know that there's a way out is because someone's gone there and gotten out before. Because all, well, it's probably Alex, all, right? all fairy tales in this world are somehow based on reality in some way, shape, or form, right? Well, it's probably Alex, right? Because yeah, like Alex my, is like my best the main guess is that yeah. My best guess is Alex is a person who landed here some time ago and then got out and told the story of it. 
Yeah, but she probably met John then at one point. Like they probably actually yeah, know each other. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. They're like they, he would, she would have to have known John. But oh, so man. why didn't he go with her then? Right. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. There's a lot. So you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, play. Oh, very discretion. I'm scared. I think it was like visual stuff though. Okay. Let's say like flashing lights. <laughs> or we I, have to see John's flashbacks from when he was in Ever After when he has to murder like 17 dogs or something like that. <laughs> like John's been through some shit. I wouldn't be surprised if they made him go through like something pennies. even more traumatizing. Yeah, there's like a group of 17 penny ghosts attacking him and he has to like murder all of them with a sword. Oh god. Oh, John. John, 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 Jesus Christ. Dude, if John dies this volume, I'm not gonna lie, William, I might be done. I, 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 I wouldn't be able to take this John. That would yet. be, dude, that would be your breaking point. That is my breaking point. Listen, I've held up with a lot of the weird shit Ruby's done over the years, but if John dies, I'm out. You know, that's just how it is. I'll be, listen, I know that's, I know that's like a weird reason to just drop a series, but if but... John dies, I'm, I'm a... <laughs> no, I dropped I, Destiny I, with I, 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 so I see like, things like know. that often. Also, oh yeah, I forgot. Um, somebody mentioned this to me. I didn't catch it before. Um, you know how they sit, they showed um, like the other weapons that were on the wall when Ruby saw the blacksmith. Yeah, I um, heard that like one of them might have been Rose's weapon or something. Um, Summer's weapon. Summer's weapon. Sorry, I think I it was the axe. Because, because I, I was, I think I said this last time. I don't remember if I did, but the axe reminded me of. Um, of oh. Oh, oh hey. shit! Yeah, okay, that. yeah. All right. The, so he probably actually the, is. The axe man. reminded me of Crow's scythe. I, I remember saying that. Uh, I don't know if I said it like on camera, but I remember thinking that. So I don't like this weird illusion we're getting, by the way. In the intro, we're like we see Neo, and then it switches to Alex doing the same pose. Like I, I, I don't like that illusion that they're <laughs> hinting at something. Yeah. You know oh, what I mean? God. Like I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but I don't like that. <laughs> Wait. Let's find out. Aww. Damn, I forgot what he looked oh. like before he was old. Oh. Oh, he fell after Crescent Rose? Wait. Wait, how did Wait. how how did Crescent Rose get past him when it fell before him? I have no what? idea now what the Jeez. fuck is happening. Oh, man. This is interesting. The tale of Jean, let's go. Clocks. That's a thing from, uh... Oh. What? Uh... Oh. Okay. Oh, uh... Oh. oh, wait. Rewinding time. Oh, shit. Oh, he time-traveled himself. Uh, okay. Uh, he... he... Wow, the very first thing he does is literally go back in time. Wow. <laughs> in a foreign land. I thought maybe I'd never see you again. Oh. But I knew if I waited long enough that you would fall. Just like I did. It's really you, right? When I saw you in the market, I... John. It's us. Group hug. <laughs> the mouse. Oh, buddy. Dude. How are you the rusted knight? And when did you get so... Ah! Oh. 
Damn, I didn't realize they were out there for so long because fucking Weiss is thirsty. <laughs> I was about to say. Oh, shit. Oh, oh okay. I didn't he, know that. He's, he's telling, yeah. She doesn't know where the beacon relic is. Well, there's that to be thankful for, at least. We lost Atlas and the relic, but we got everyone out safely. John said. What about the other people that fell here? <laughs> and he failed. Getting everyone out has to count for something. What good is saving anybody if Salem just destroys the world anyway? That's how Iron would fall. Who had the clocks in um in the original Alice in Wonderland? Oh. Or somebody had clocks. There'll be plenty of time to lick their wounds later. Oh. Damn, he is irritable. He's like, oh, we got shit to do now. <laughs> My village. Not on our own. We had help. Oh. Uh, <laughs> hope the cat is okay. What cat? Oh. Uh oh. I sense not great things about to happen. Why is it you always find the thing you're looking for in the very last place you look? Oh, oh. Hey, oh. okay. <laughs> they know Damn. each other. Turns you into something else. If you go there, it's going to erase you. We call it ascension here. That's what it is. Uh. The tree is what causes ascension. That's what got the erase. The roots of the tree. Pretty curious that you neglected to mention it. We're all excellent comradeship, but you are not from here. We won't do that to you guys. And what happened to Lewis? Who? Who? Alex's brother. What? What? That... That can't be right. She had a brother? Why didn't you mention him? Well, you never asked, uh... Billy. It was always Alex this and Alex that. We've been following this story the whole time, and it's not even true? Even more curious. A lot of good that's done, you ask it as well. Can everyone please stop? This is a lot to take in. Huh? <laughs> like we are stuck at a crossroads then. No! Oh! Uh. Uh. Did he say John's trigger word? What the f. Oh, God. Oh god. Metaphorical and literal crossroads. How perfectly stupidly ever asked. This place really is the place. Oh. Oh, okay, so don't say shit here apparently. Oh. Ow. Okay, I asked for that. Why has become my favorite so much? But oh Oh hey, it's the uh It's the bridge from uh Kung Fu Panda. 
Oh my god. It's Samurai Jack. <laughs> I, didn't even, I didn't even realize what you were talking about until you just said it. I was like, what are you talking about? Kung Fu Panda, and I was like, oh shit, you're right. And, for, and from Samurai Jack. <laughs> That's true. Oh, but, and they are, t well, there's like a platform in the middle, so they don't have to, like, yeah. kill each other to crowd. <laughs> to get to it. They can make that That'd hop. be a real shocker if they started trying to kill each other right now. You know, this would go quicker if you make up your minds. Oh, yeah. I just don't get how the story is both real and not. Well, maybe the story was paraf- Whoa! Well... The story is probably written by Alex, so if, she, if something, well, actually, I guess, well, I don't, why wouldn't she include her brother then? Ooh. Oh. Did you see Summer behind uh, Ruby though? Yeah, like briefly. Man, if Ruby looked over though. Don't show Pira. Oh, so he knew the story too. Same as the book. Alex. She wasn't just a little petulant or inconsiderate. She was selfish. Ooh. Ugh. This whole world was simply make believe and used in the fight of it. Lewis was the kind one. The clever one. We went places she didn't mention in the story. The, the herbalist. Something changed there. started accusing us of things. The more I tried to get the story back on track, the more she distrusted me. It was my fault. Uh. I changed the story. I, I couldn't even be the make-believe hero. Huh. I didn't have time to make it right. Whoa. The rest of the night, the poison never spread. Oh, so that's it. She wouldn't let anyone get in the way of her leaving. That she'd do whatever it takes. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It was his favorite. Why don't you trust the cat then? The cat's role in the Atlanta. I figured it out later when the cat came back from the hotel. When people lose their way here, the cat convinces them somehow. Either to keep performing their role or to go to the tree. The cat calls it healing, but it's manipulation. That was never helping Alex or you. The purpose here is to feed the tree. Keep the cycle going. How can you be sure? Because the cat took Alex and Lewis there. And one of them came back to our world. But what happened there for that to happen? You, she does. It's true. You're not wrong. I think your cat ears are cute. Oh. Nailed it. Even though I don't know. What was that? <laughs> Maybe it's saying things we never said to each other. That's where your brain takes it. <laughs> I mean, it uh, might be working. I Oh. 
try to keep up. I like that you've never been intimidated by me. Even when you didn't like me all that much. I was a little wary of people in general. But you never gave up on them, even when they hurt you. You never give up. You know what matters to you. Let's make this work. Brush your teeth. Any big truths we haven't dropped on each other yet? Though. <laughs> oh, okay. The fuck? What did they do wrong? Did you just think of something that didn't say it? That can't be what this is about. <laughs> Rooster teeth. Eclipse. Oh my. And if I do it, I'm just going to fall. <sighs> I think we're already falling. Oh my god. Oh my. <laughs> you say it, Blake. <laughs> they can both say it together. Oh. Uh. <laughs> no way. Rooster Teeth. We, how many years have you been blue balling no us way. on this? Don't fucking blue ball me here. The Yo! I'm gonna mute real quick. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna scream. <laughs> No, 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 don't, don't, don't mute yourself, motherfucker. Fuck yeah! We did it, boys! We did it! Holy shit, after fucking nine volumes, they should have... seven days in four inches, we finally did it. <laughs> One of them, I don't care what happens this episode, but if they kill John, I'll still be upset. <laughs> holy shit. It, they should have done that. Rooster Teeth, You're the one you have the been, you been dancing us? around that for the last three goddamn years. Actually, no, four, because I'm gonna count the one year that you made us wait extra for this volume. You, we were waiting so damn long, and you finally pulled that goddamn trigger. <sighs> they fucking did it. I almost don't care about this right now, though, but, yeah. I don't know. She had told me she'd take me with her through the door to Remnant, but she took me. Just, just like all of you. You only want to use me in the same way I've only seen others as sources for knowledge and evidence. Well, at least now, For this lesson, Ruby, Rose, Huntress. I'll be on my way now. Stay with your friend. Huh. Oh, I swear to God, if they're just. Oh. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, yo. Okay, well, John has literally been waiting forever for that. <laughs> Life is good, you know? I know that whole thing with the cat just happened, but god, god damn it, William, you know? I'll tell you what. It's pretty good, you know what I mean? Oh, hey, a box. Oh, did she actually... Did he find it? Oh. oh, right. He probably did find it. Oh, wow, he found Crescent Rose. Uh, is this ominous music coming from here or somewhere else in my brain? Oh. Thank you, John. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So, mm. you think that's what happened, but we're not sure. 
You know what? We're probably gonna see. We're probably gonna yeah. see Lewis as like a final yeah. boss in this. Yeah, game, that's why I this imagine. episode is trending. I, I I saw like maybe five separate thumbnails of oh uh, all of, of them, them all of them with Blake and Yang. Dude, I like face to face. And, it's uh, so oh. good, dude. Dude, these last two episodes are banger. We got John, the main character, back, and <laughs> we got the completion of Bumblebee. In they fi the most... they finally shipped out Bumblebee, dude. Oh my they god, fucking... we've been getting like little teases, oh, little handholds, wow, look, you know, look, little yeah. things that take a little second longer you've, you've been... than would normally be expected. Oh Jesus, fuck, you know, because like, I, I I think now is about time I just say it. So, you know, like Sun's my favorite character in Ruby right now. So, and you know how they left him off, I completely felt like. Like they the did entire... cock him. Yeah, they were cocking him. They, did... no, <laughs> they cocked yeah, the they, they shit out of him. Sun. They, they did cock him. That's <laughs> really something that they did to him. Oh, I agree man. Entirely. They cocked the Listen, shit I out of him. I feel bad for Sun, but let me tell you what, man. Yeah. I, I'm going to get to that, too. Don't worry about it, man. So, Sun. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, okay, okay. So, yeah. I just felt like they were setting up Sun to be... Because uh, that was just, like, kind of the obvious thing, also. Mm -hmm. Like, Sun and Blake... And, but then obviously, they're, like, ever since the beginning, or I think mostly since Volume 2, Blake and Yang did have that bond. But I've seen that bond, especially throughout anime, I've seen that kind of bond done as just deep, caring friendship so many yeah, times. Yeah, like Sister that, the that, that, Yeah, yes. exactly. That's just how I felt about it. But that's, what, that's just what it was. And then, and, and not just, not that... I didn't shit Bumblebee, but um, this is what I felt like uh, if they were going to do it. Um, I felt like uh, Volume Six. I, I really like Volume Six a lot, especially the very beginning of Volume Six with um, the all the zombie grim. That was that was epic. And then Adam shit. fucking terrifying. And then while I think the Adam fight was good, I feel like all that build up for basically two whole volumes of. Yang and Blake being separated from one another, like like all that emotional mm -hmm. buildup, I felt like it went away, or it was dealt with way too quickly because of that oh, Adam yeah. fight. That's what I felt like. I felt like that should that fight should have been the big step that got them connecting with each other again, not immediately eyeing each other romantically like that. You know, like that's what I that's what I felt. I felt it took it too far. But then, ever since then, for the last three volumes, they've been teasing us that they're going to get together, and they didn't pull that trigger. So, it's like, Jesus Christ, Ro Rooster Teeth, do it already! <laughs> and, by God, they did it. They, they fucking did it. They fucking did it. Focus, please. Oh my camera. God, okay. Dude, I'm not gonna fucking... lie, I do... I love that John's back. I do miss kind of like happy, quirky, kind of awkward John. Oh, and instead, we have rough and gruff, no nonsense shit, John. This, this world in this in this volume, I I legitimately think that this might be the best volume of Ruby if they keep this up. Oh yeah, no. This if is they great. keep this up, this is going to be the best volume of Ruby. But yeah, and I, I just want to point this out to literally all the other YouTubers again because you know the whole point of this is that we're supposed to like wait a week to post reactions because here's the thing my problem isn't like it wasn't just like just random like oh what happened in the episode of ruby reaction i saw a few thumbnails that weren't spoilery at all but then but then this i saw i saw like, it was specifically the 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 reaction youtubers um that were like posting things and i was like fuck no no you can't do that now you can't show me that like an hour after the episode comes out. <sighs> oh my god. Yeah, so so yeah, uh... I, I I I saw that kiss coming. And I'm really, really, really fucking upset that I saw that kiss coming. That's really important. But at the same time, I'm happy, very fucking happy to finally see it. After oh. all these years. Dude, it's it's great. It's Ever... like oh. I've been in the desert, <laughs> William. I've been in the desert. Let me tell you something. I've been in the desert, man. It's been hot here. I've been dehydrated. I needed water. 
need and fucking all of a sudden, water. I just found the oasis. You found the oasis. You found the bumblebee. oasis. Oh it was my fucking God. great. We did it, boys. <laughs> 10 out of 10 would dehydrate again. <laughs> you fucking did it. Oh, oh my god. Yeah. I mean, shit, dude. That was great. We did it. And we got John back. We got John back, and we have Bumblebee. Bumblebee. We got we Bumblebee. Bumblebee. It's official. They did Bumblebee. Holy. Yeah. That, that's why it's... Like, I, that would also explain why it's why it's trending on Twitter. I use Twitter, oh. like, maybe twice a week, and I saw it on Twitter, of all things. I was like, oh, shit. I don't even look at anything Ruby on Twitter. <laughs> oh, okay. I can finally use Twitter and YouTube again. <laughs> Dude, oh, I've been so reluctant. I've been like, like, like slowly scrolling, making sure it's not Ruby related for the, mm. like the, for the past day. Oh man, I'm so happy though. They fucking did it. Rooster Teeth. I'm pretty happy too. Oh. Thank God. Uh, that was good. But, but now, now that that's over with, I feel like there's so much more that this volume specifically can offer us. Hmm. Like, like with the potential for what the deal is going on, where they could take it, what they're going to do, how Ruby's going to, like, get over this, you know? Yeah, she's getting kind of shit on. <laughs> uh, I'll be the one that's, yeah, no, I mean, that's, it's kind of just happening. Yeah, that's crazy. But then, uh, <sighs> let, I want to know your opinion on the Crescent Rose thing. Crescent Rose thing, like... I like, think she I, did not look happy or at all remotely excited that, like, she got Chris and Rose back. I think it's that same thing that we were just talking about, how it's because, um, like, Ruby feels like she's failing as a huntress. Like, that weapon is, I guess, reminding her. Of her failure. Yeah. You think we're gonna get a moment sometime during this volume where, like, it breaks and then, like, she picks up a new weapon? And it's like symbolic Possibly. of her growth or maybe as like, a character. Either that, or like maybe she's gonna get like, just maybe it can break and then they can upgrade it afterward. Or, or she gets like because she a built giant gun. she built Crescent Rose herself. She can that probably make another one. You know, that's actually a good point. What does she never? Okay, I know a dumb question here, but why does she like? I know it's a big heavy weapon, but I feel like at this point she should just make a backup weapon because she loses that shit. Weapon. I feel like so she much. She does. She really does. Like have a knife or so, like a knife pistol. You know like, what I mean? Like, like I swear. There, there technically, I guess, been two times where she's held swords. Maybe she can like have like a smaller blade on her. You know. But then yeah, the, the scythe. Yeah, like she... carry a backup weapon, man. Like for real, for real. <laughs> backup like. pistol or something i don't know we'll find out and there's so much i'm looking forward to now i can i, I love I, I love the like the I, i'm pretty sure literally all of us that, that was like 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 i'm pretty sure even miles was uh, was thinking that when he said that line <laughs> he's like well, i'm pretty sure i've been waiting for that for a long time i'm, I'm, yeah. I'm pretty sure they even hinted throughout like the show everybody noticed them Oh right? yeah. <laughs> like, even they even, weren't being subtle. Even Weiss like probably noticed it. Like they weren't subtle with it at all. I think Ruby's actually unironically the only one who probably actually didn't like realize. That's it, it awesome. to me. Oh my god! I actually now that they're together, I'm just trying to think about what's going to happen. Like, how's that going to? God, fuck! There's so many dynamic well, changes now. They're probably going to adopt. Oh, all right, that's what you meant. All right. <sighs> Yeah. This is a loaded episode, and the last episode was already loaded, so... The, yeah, the... these episodes are like... I kind of want to know what happens next now. Like, I know they didn't leave us on a cliffhanger or anything, but I'm like... it's. I still just want to know, you know? Like, like the potential now is there. It's... it's. I, this is like the kind of potential I felt this show had, like, super, super early on. I was like, oh man, there's so much shit that can happen now. This volume... The thing I've loved the most about this volume is that I feel there's so much that can happen in it. And that's what I've loved about this volume so much. Like, like I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know how it's going to happen. I don't know how characters being older changes things. Also, hold on a moment. So, I, I still have my theory. There, there's still the theory that time works differently Actually, no, this is another reason why I think time works differently in um, in uh, this world than uh, the last world. 
is because, uh, like, when Alice made it out, that would mean... Because Alice got there apparently after... Wait, wait, did, did Alice get there after or and they before went back. Jean? She went back in time. Or no, she, she came after because he's already he'd already yeah, been, he'd already been like, there. The so, rest yeah. of night. so whenever, however, he she got there. Is it possible, oh, Matt? Is yeah. it possible that Alex was one of the people that fell when Cinder blew up the platform? I, you know, actually. No, 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 it couldn't have been. It couldn't have been because they already all know the fairy tale story. So she had to have been way before so that she could write the story and have everyone know it. Because if it's a childhood story, that's, that means that's she true. have to have at least dropped at least 10 years ago. At least. Probably. Because if, if, if they all know it, if all of them know it as kids, like, you know. I'm means, just thinking, it, like, oh, the, like, you see, like, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Like, it's all these thinking that I'm loving that this show is making me do again, you know? Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna. Oh, this, I can go on for so long. <laughs> so, oh my god! You know something just occurred to me. One last thing here. Yeah. I just realized at the end, John said they pro. She probably that Alex probably sacrificed her brother to get through. I've already forgotten his name. I'm so sorry. Uh, no, um, no, yeah, I forgot his name too. God damn it. I I don't know. I'm so sorry. But like, you think John's gonna sacrifice himself so that they get back to? It? If that's true, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry blood. No, no, I'm gonna cry shut blood. Up, I will up, go into depression. Shut up right now. I was shut, thinking about shut it. Shut up. Man. Shut up. Don't think that. Don't say that. Don't. Don't. No. Don't say that. Don't say that, dude. Hopefully, I, it's like they just have to sacrifice Crescent Rose or some crap like that. I don't want to think about that. No. Mm. Jean, no. I can't. <sighs> I'll, I'll be in a state of depression. Oh, no. I, I won't happens. be able to take seeing that. Oh, uh. no. God damn it, why'd you say that now? That would be uh, so much anxiety now. All right. I, I, I'm just going to think about Bumblebee for the next hour or so. so. Oh, me too. <laughs> so I'm going to leave it right there and leave you to your own devices, man. So right. hope you all <laughs> oh, enjoyed. Like <laughs> leave a like if you did. You'll see us in the next video. Peace out, yeah. everybody.